Hi, I'm Carlos Carcam and you're in my exhibition Microphone Check at Ayana's Gallery in Tribeca, New York. focus and you have you know certain points where you're seeing a little bit of relief of the, the graffiti or the tag in the background some other points where it's totally shadowed over like these you know, three points here are similar but they're you know totally different and the more you get closer to it is you know it's reading in a different way. Yeah and I always incorporate the name of the graffiti writer's name who referencing in the tag. Right. In the title of the painting. But you, you tag yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right. What was your tag name? I'm Odyssey 3. Sometimes, you know, we'd be in a tunnel uh, piecing and um, we could hear the train coming, so right. everybody would, you know, squeeze and, you know, You're standing on top of a third rail sometimes, you know, and, and the train would pass by foot in front of your face. That was exciting. The action comes um, from the tag. For me, one of the most stressful is the tag. Your old noir is so deep with the urban hip hop, the culture, and your, your reference points are so vast in so many ways. You reference in break dancing. Yeah. You know, you have uh, the vinyl, you know, floor mm -hmm. uh, as the base of the sculpture, and yeah. then you bend it. I try to like make a connection uh, audibly with my eyes. Your work to me obviously has a sense of hip hop. Pop and culture, but in a very strong, you know, way. And uh, you had the intervention, as you called it, yeah, the low, the low rider, the bass, almost the, you know, Bruce Nowen's work. Mm -hmm. uh, I come to notice how it uh, became a performance piece of art, and how interactive it was with the public. It was a happening, yeah. and it was important because it's something that makes a lot of sense with what you know the people came in and seen her in this classical style of painting, but there's a feeling behind it. I love the collages. It has that street element, and then yet you have that classical overtone. On those pieces, it's almost the reverse of these, in that the foreground is the street, and the under painting is the you know, classical. You have the, you know, the Brancusi, then in front of the Brancusi, you have the grill, the, the gold teeth. The use of the limousine tint in the performing frames coming from the body of work where I was taking photographs of myself. And you know, all bugged out, and then putting them behind tinted, you tinted glass frames, so that you couldn't really see my image until you were really close up. Right. And the idea of playing with identity in that way—it's a complete juxtaposition of two lifestyles. And I see that in your work also. It's like this, this, you know, this tension, yeah. which is great. And that, that tension is really coming out, and it resonates. And that's, you know, when people are so excited about your work, it's exciting, it's fresh, it's new, it has a. a an energy that's that is beautiful to look at. I've had time to spend with the paintings, and one thing that I've noticed as a boy are of them, when you look at them long enough, if you look, your perspective can change that the background sometimes comes to the foreground, yeah. and the foreground goes to the background. Like your your eyes will, uh, the retina will hit the tag, or it'll hit the colors, and it's yeah. like it's hard to digest both at the same time. Nobody's done this type of work, so it's completely original and it is, you know, Carlos Carcamo will historically have this kind of medium uh, you know, for people to enjoy and recognize.